Today I want to talk about patterns. Patterns is this area of the application over here where you might want to see Al predict a pattern in the data. And that usually means there's a relationship. So if I were to drill in and see here, what Al is saying is that for this person, Alvin Drain, who's a male with this social security number, this is most commonly the email address that we see. And today when we saw this error prone email address that is likely incorrect, it made a prediction on how to correct it. So how to set something like this up in Allen and when would you do it? So if we navigate over here, we could go into the Explorer, we'd pick a data set or file that we think might have patterns in it. And, you know, as I like to say is define the relationship, but it doesn't mean what your girlfriend might find it to mean on Facebook. This means something completely different in data quality. So we're going to browse into a file. I'm going to use Amazon's S3 as a bucket, and I'm going to look for my customer data. So this is already integrated with an S3 bucket and open this file. Gives me a nice preview of the data. I'm going to accept the way it looks. And now I'll jump into the pattern section. And when we see this section, we, we first see kind of a visual depiction of what patterns do. And there's a simple example of linking a state to a zip code. Here's where rules really fall apart a lot of times is you basically say, well, I'd have to know every zip code and every state but every combination of zip code and state, which then becomes more than 40,000. And what if there's a record in my data set that has a proper zip code and a proper state, but they don't belong together. And all of a sudden rules don't really work in this case for data quality. And Al has something called patterns that solves this problem. So if I turn this on and add a new pattern, we do support multiple patterns. I might click the ID column of a field or maybe in some cases the SSN is the unique identifier of the field. Uh, I would probably pick the things that I want predictions on. So basket analysis for emails, first name, gender, last name. And then if it's over time, I might pick my date column. Now you'll see this pop up, which says, how long do I want to learn? The last four days, the last five days, what is my look back period? And ultimately when I hit save and then go and run this model, it is what will have created this section here in patterns, which will allow for suggestions well beyond what uh, standard rules could do for us and simulate usually what would be the equivalent of thousands of rules. Thanks.